Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Spins a web in his size, catches thieves just like flies. Watch out, here comes a Miles Morales Spider-Man. Let's go check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric. I'm back from seeing Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Wow, what a great movie. Sony, you're on a roll with two great Spider-Man Universe movies. Uh, awesome job, awesome job. The movie is rated PG. Uh, there are some violent scenes and some scary scenes. I'm surprised. It could have crept, uh, you know, up to the PG-13 range. It's PG. It's under two hours, perfect length. It's directed by uh, three people that have a good track record in animation, and I thought the direction was fantastic. Uh, just the blocking, the scenes, the editing. Awesome job all the way around. Great. Uh, the screenplay was written by Phil Lord. Yeah, so that's from the team of Lord and Miller. Uh, they did the Lego movie, and of course they were fired from Solo by Kathleen Kennedy of Lucasfilm. Wow, this screenplay was amazing. I loved it. Uh, we'll talk about why, but boy oh boy, I think Kathleen Kennedy might have messed up firing Lord and Miller on Solo. Again, the movie is great, so let's go over our voice talent cast. Uh, Shamik Moore plays Miles Morales, who of course is Spider-Man. Fantastic job. Uh, Jake Johnson as Peter B. Parker. Uh, great job, I loved his character. Haley Steinfeld plays Gwen Stacy. Yep, another good job. Uh, not overly familiar with their work, but Liev Shriver, we know him as Ray Donovan and uh, Sabretooth on the X-Men Wolverine movies. And of course here, he is the Kingpin. He is the bad guy. And uh, I don't know if this is a spoiler. Again, this is a non-spoiler review, but uh, if you look at the IMBD page, you know, it's all there. So I don't think this is a spoiler, but boy, oh boy, Nicolas Cage plays Spider-Man Noir. Okay, Sony, let's talk. Let's talk here. We need a Nicolas Cage, uh, uh, non-animation, a, a real Nicolas Cage Spider-Man noir movie. After seeing this movie, we must have this. Please, 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 it would be fantastic. All right, let's talk about the plot of this movie. It starts out with Spider-Man, Peter Parker, and he's talking to us about Spider-Man things. And in the very first minute, this movie had me. The references had me cracking up. Uh, they're very smart. Uh, they're very subtle, so if you're a big Spider-Man fan for many years, you're just going to be laughing at these things. And they're not silly, they're smart. Uh, and then things move to Miles Morales. He doesn't have his powers yet. Uh, we get to meet his family, his father, his uncle. Uh, you, you know the situation. So we meet Miles, and then Miles will come into the situation where he gets his powers. He will bump into Spider-Man. Uh, they will have an encounter, uh, and then the Spider-Verse Versus will be unlocked and the various spider people will come into play and they will team up to foil the plot of the kingpin who wants to wreak havoc uh, on our reality. So uh, yeah, there you go. That's not too spoilery. Um, the tone. This movie balances a lot and, and it's awesome. So again, the humor is smart. Great, great action scenes. That are, they're very comic bookish and that's a compliment. Uh, the, the, way, the way they're shot... Uh, it's just it's just great the way they're thought out ahead of time you really in the action great job the movie is again very violent uh, at times uh, and but they balance that out uh, with a lot of heart the movie uh, you know there, there's some family situations uh, going on and uh, yeah the movie will give you the feels so so uh, great job great job uh, and it's very scary some of the characters I thought were pretty scary the way they were uh, animated and come at you so yeah very, very good. Not silly, very smart, very good. Uh, the animation style. So some of the characters, because we're dealing with different universes, are not what we expect. There is some gender swapping, and I, and I thought it was really good. I really like what they did with some characters. Um, one gripe, I did not like how the Kingpin was designed. He was a little bit too uh, hulking and... Uh, uh, his uh, his neck was like three feet above his head. He was drawn weird. I, I That's a personal thing. I didn't quite like that. He reminded me of Gru from uh, Despicable Me, kind of. So just personal taste. I, I didn't like that. I, although I did like uh, Liev's performance. Great job. Um, and in the beginning of the movie, uh, animation-wise, uh, so the background had a sort of blurred red and blue look to it. 
Uh, it looked like we needed old time 3D glasses to correct it. The background had this look going on for the first 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, also, there was a uh, checkered texture to everything in the background, whether it was a person, a sky, a building, everything was the same uh, textured uh, look. And, and it was annoying me in the first 10 or 15 minutes. It all went away. I got uh, very into the story, the characters. I tuned that out. I, I don't know if they corrected it or whatever, but uh, you know, it was just a minor gripe. The music, the music here is fantastic, whether it's song selection uh, from, you know, whenever, the 80s, or uh, whether it's just a great score. The score is awesome. So let's talk about the post credit scene. This could be one of the best post credit scenes we ever had in a Marvel movie. I thought so. I was, it's funny. I'm not going to spoil anything, but it takes a character and another character. And uh, I was like, wow, this is really good. I, I really, really appreciated it. Um, very good. Um, I wish we could talk a little bit more about the movie in a spoiler fashion. Uh, I, I just want to thank all my subscribers. Thank you so much. One of my goals here, you know, we're getting a lot of subscribers and thank you. It's just awesome. And one of the things I would like to do is sort of have a community and maybe do a live chat uh, one day where we can like have a conversation about the references in this movie, uh, things we like, things we didn't like. Uh, so, you know, um, you know, the subscribers are accumulating and I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much. So maybe that's something we would do in the future. Please leave a comment. Let me know. Is that something you guys would like to do a live chat where we could talk about all this type of thing instead of, instead of me just talking into a camera, you know, you know, that that's cool and all, but I'd rather have some feedback. So let me know what you think. Um, Aquaman, Saturday night. I'm super stoked. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to be a great movie. I think it will be. So Aquaman is Saturday. Uh, this movie, yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to see it again. I did not see it in 3D. I saw it in standard, uh, you know, uh, 2D. So I'm going to go back and see it in 3D. Uh, great movie. Go out and see it. Awesome. Well, with that, good night. And as always, I will see you on the new.